Hi there, my dear Torians. Welcome to your November 2015 Rune Scope with me. My name is Amanda. A couple of things I just wanted to uh, mention. The final Rune class uh, is going to be November 2nd through December 7th. That's the final one for 2015. So if you want to sign up for that and you're watching this on the October side, there you do still have time. Um, the deadline is 12 p.m. Eastern time on October 29th. That's a six-week course. It's $185 for the entire course. So drop me a line at the email address in this video or below the video in the details section if you want to sign up for that. Also, I will be appearing on an internet radio show uh, November 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's called Solar Temple Radio on Blog Talk. So I will include the link for that below as well. I'm probably in the video somewhere. If you see a little I or a little info button, just tap on that or click on that and it will open the uh, link for you. So you can go check that out. I'm just going to be talking about the runes, uh, a little bit about their history and, and uh, how their uses in divination and magic, etc. So be sure to stop by and check that out. But without further ado, Taurus, let's jump in and see what November has in store for you. They want to tell you, the Taurus. Okay. And this month for the tarot, I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Cannon Reed and Martin Cannon, just to let you know what deck I'm using. Um, again, though, as I always remind you, these are general readings, Taurus, so not all messages will apply to you. Um, you know, those that do not are for uh, your Taurus brethren. So it is kind of a just take what you can use situation. Now, if you do know your rising sign, watch that video as well, because that will also contain some messages that apply to you and uh, can give you a pretty accurate picture of what's going to be shaken down in, uh, in November. Uh, if you would like a private reading, which is really the only way to get a reading that's all about you and all of the messages are for you, is to schedule an appointment with me. I do those live on Skype. It's $65 for 30 minutes, so just drop me a line at the email address in this video, again, or below the video. It's runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. It's the number four and the letter U and we'll get you set up. If you are wanting to get a reading, a New Year's reading for 2016, I would encourage you to go ahead and get in touch with me uh, either in November or December and set that up because I tend to book up really quickly in January. So if you wanna kind of beat the rush, um, it's a good time to do that and we can go ahead and take a look at 2016 for you. But I'm just kind of trying to get a sense of what the energies are here for Taurus. Your focus, in this position with the tarot, we have the, the Six of Rods or the Six of Wands coming up uh, in that position. In the reverse. So with this and with the room, I was here as well. There may be a sense of going back to the drawing board with something or a delay around something. It's, it's like I'm so close to victory or... I'm so close to something panning out, but I don't want to muck it up. So I'm going to slow it down. So it seems like Taurus in November, you're kind of putting the brakes on. Um, it may be in general for some of you, you may just be like, I'm going to take some time out, slow down. But I feel like for most of you, this has to do with you're moving towards the victory, but now there's a bit of a timeout or a delay and a break from pursuing something or someone or a goal. Um, Rods often talk about um, opportunities or uh, creative projects, creative energy. So there may be some sort of, um, okay, I'm getting a specific message. This is not gonna apply to all of you. This is you know, one of those that's gonna be for a select few. There may be a situation where you could really just take someone out of the game. <laughs> Like you may have some information, you may have some sort of inside info or where you could really just knock someone out of the running for something or totally take the, take the victory, to get the medal in something. Um, 
but maybe it would hurt someone that you care about or maybe it would um be at someone else's expense or um maybe the timing is just not right i feel like there's a lot to do with timing in november or maybe you just have a real zing that you could you know maybe in an argument that you could really just whip out <laughs> And really just kind of take someone out of the, uh, out of you know, knock them out of the playing field. But you may decide, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold back, at least for now. But if you do this again, if you're, or if you behave again, you know, again in this negative way, who knows what may happen. Um, <laughs> so you're pulling back on something, on acting, or uh, from pursuing something, Taurus. It doesn't have to be an argument. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. Um, this is going to be an eventual victory for you, but it is something to where you're just like, okay, I'm going to delay that. I'm going to delay uh, winning this right now or pursuing this or, or succeeding at this for right now. Um, now, for some of you, this could be someone else telling you, like maybe you've been waiting to hear back from a job and they're like, well, we're going to wait and hire this for this position next year. Or So it's like whatever delays happen in November, Taurus, victory is still possible. It's still coming, but there may just, you know, you've still got a reasonable goal. There's no reason to change things or change your, your outcome or your hopes for an outcome. It's just going to be delayed for a little bit. And honestly, for some of you, you may be okay with that because there are some things that you still need to finish up before you go in this new direction or before you achieve this. Um, now, for some of you, we have the Page of Swords uh, coming up in the reverse. Um, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. It's the Prince of Swords in this deck, but that's the Knight in the other decks. Um, so in the reverse, this may be, again, disappointing news of a delay, a frustration. For some of you, this may be around property. Um, so maybe it's that, you know, you, your, your move-in date is delayed or, um, you know, you were, you were hoping to get into a, a new home, but now that has to be put off. So it's, it's some sort of disappointing news, but again, it's not like a total negative. So whatever this is maybe for some of you it may be news that there's something wrong with the home that you were looking to purchase or um you know something of that nature um or you may find out that you know you were uh looking at a property but they are going to be building like an you know and you were hoping it would be private and like your own sanctuary and now they're building like a huge subdivision behind it or something it, it's some kind of disappointing news around property for some of you or um land or a home and for some of you maybe it's a remodeling project that you were hoping to have done if you're in the states maybe in time for the holidays in time for thanksgiving and it's not going to be done in time so maybe you can't host family events or host the family for the holiday um some of you may may well be able to, but maybe you were just hoping to have this fixed or taken care of before that. So, um, so Taurus, again, whatever this is, whatever this delay is, don't let it like. They're saying don't let it get you down because it's not, it's going to be all right. It's just the timetable has been changed, and yes, that can be frustrating. But really, whatever you're planning. It's going to go off without a hitch. I mean, you're going to be very happy with whatever this is at the end. So if this is a home that you get news that it fell through, the deal fell through, or there's something wrong with it. If you don't end up getting one that you were hoping to purchase, there will be another one that comes along that's maybe fits the bill even better. Um, you know, there's a reason for this. But really, I don't think for most of you it's going to fall through. It's just delayed. It's just delayed in some way. Uh, now, the help that's going to be available to you, we have the Chariot in the reverse and Rhino in reverse and Awas in reverse. So, yeah, man, this, these all in the upright have to do with moving forward and things moving forward very quickly. Fast communication, shifts and changes, moves into new homes, um, buying new cars, um, traveling. Um, so... But yeah, with these in the reverse, it's a help to you. Anything delayed in November is a help to you. Any travel that you can't take, some of you may not be able to go visit family for the holidays, but maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> maybe it's going to be kind of chaotic or, um, you know, maybe you can avoid this argument altogether. Maybe you're kind of like, I know if I go, I'm going to say this and it's just going to be, so let's just put it off till Christmas. 
at least. <laughs> or let's put it off and you know, until next year. Um, but yeah, anything delayed, any trips, any travel, any moves or shifts, either from a job or from a home, um, anything that's put off or delayed in November, it's going to eventually work out to your benefit and an even greater victory. So keep that in mind, Taurus. I hope you do remember that. And you know, um, think about the Tauruses who didn't watch this. They're going to be going through these and not, you know, they're not going to have that heads up that it's actually going to be a better thing, you know, um, that this was delayed or put off. Yes, it can be frustrating, but, um, just go with it. Wait to see how things unfold. Bad news in November is actually good news. And they said that specifically. So, um, make that your mantra for November. Any disappointing news? I don't really think it's going to be bad news. It's just disappointing. Cause again, for most of you, it's just something that you thought was going to be starting maybe in November is going to be pushed back a little bit, maybe to December or the end of, or, or the beginning of next year, but it's ultimately going to be to your benefit. And, um, once you get there, you're going to, you're not even going to, you know, you're going to look back and think, well, that was actually a blessing in disguise or, uh, it was a good thing. It was a good thing. Some of you may be, be relieved that you don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm kind of getting a sense of relief. It's like, oh, okay, well, I'm kind of glad that fell through because I didn't want to have to fix that on that house. It was going to be really expensive. Or, um, you know, I'm glad we found out about that before, you know, that subdivision before we moved into what we thought was going to be a really private sanctuary or whatever. Or I'm glad I didn't get that job now because, you know, I have so much to finish up here at work or I wouldn't be able to take my vacation time if I started a new job before the end of the year, that sort of thing. Um, now what can't be changed for November? So we have the nine of swords in reverse along with tear and Lagas as our rooms here. Um, what can't be changed as that victory is imminent and intuitively, you know, this. So again, Taurus, I feel like you know that whatever is, is delayed, whatever has occurred is it's going to be all right in the end. It's not going to be that big of a deal, um, in the end. So, um, you're no longer going to be bound. Any delays, restrictions are temporary. So, uh, and I think you'll, many of you will see this before the end of November. So, um, you're going to get some final information before the end of November that really kind of lifts the clouds. So keep that in mind. Um, intuitively what you're feeling, what you thought, what you felt was going to happen is still going to happen. So, you, you know, victory is still imminent and any obstacles that you can control or overcome. Sometimes we can't, if something's delayed for whatever reason through for bureaucratic reasons or whatever, sometimes there's not much we can do about it. Um, you know, it just is what it is. I hate that saying, but sometimes things are that way in the, in the moment, but, um, any obstacles that you do have control over, they're quickly going to be, you're going to make mincemeat of those. So I feel like by the end of November, you will have kind of pushed through anything that you can control in order to make things happen. And for you Taurus guys, um, there may be a woman, you know, this could be your, your wife or your girlfriend or, um, your partner. Um, this is normally a feminine energy. It does not have to be a woman, but it is normally a feminine energy, but, um, could be a more effeminate man or a gay man. Um, I feel like for many of you guys, maybe, maybe the woman in your life was like, Hey, chill out. <laughs> I feel like this is going to happen. Don't let it get you down. So maybe if you are, you know, I still think you're having gut feelings though, guys, maybe you just don't trust it as much as, uh, the woman in your life is able to, and, and tap into that, um, you know, more emotional, intuitive, psychic, uh, energy, but I feel like she's maybe reassuring you and this is going to be all right. It's going to pan out. It's for the best. We don't want to move in there. If that's the way, you know, it is something will turn up. I just feel like she has a really good feeling about it. Or some of, some of, some of the women in your lives, uh, Taurus may have a dream about this situation. Cause it seems like for many of you, this is something you're doing with a partner you're doing together, your wife or whoever you're married with. Um, this big purchase or this, you know, traveling or remodeling venture. So, um, 
And that's how you end the month. You have Gifu and uh, Bjork here with the, uh, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this isn't over, whatever this is. Um, so I, I, they keep stressing that, Taurus. So what that kind of tells me is that the message that you get with the, uh, the Knight of Swords, or in this deck, the Prince of Swords in reverse, it may seem final, but it's not. So anything that seems final and is disappointing to you in November, it seems like there's going to be another chance, another go. This isn't, the fat lady hasn't sung. <laughs> so, um, you know, this, this ain't over till it's over. And I do feel like, um, well, they're saying venue. Because partnership is so heavily uh, accented here, maybe this is some of you, you're planning a wedding and the venue you wanted to get, that falls through. And you're like, oh my God, some of you may have been doing a destination wedding or planning that. And you're like, oh my God, no, we can't, you know, this is falling through and we can't do that. Or my work schedule's not going to allow it. I thought I was going to be off, but I'm not. Um, there's going to be something either new and much better, or there's going to be another chance at this. So uh, maybe someone cancels and you're then able to get that spot. If, if it is a wedding or an event that you're planning, um, because, I mean, marriage is on the table here. Uh, and children uh, with Gifu. Um, so, yeah, some of you may be uh, trying to get pregnant. Um, you know, you may be... Some of you, maybe this is a, a, a pregnancy that was lost um, by you or by your partner. And... Um, you know, you had to tell your family that, you know, the, this has happened. But then I feel like if that were the case, it happened earlier this year. But now you're pregnant again. But now you may be like, okay, we got to delay telling everybody this time because we want to make sure that everything is good, that everything is moving forward. Um, whatever's taken away or has been taken away or falls through will be replaced. Okay. There's a new beginning, a new pregnancy, a new venue for a wedding, um, a new relationship. If this is a relationship that, you know, you were ending and this person is new. Um, you know, that there's going to be a chance to move forward and solidify a relationship. And whatever needs to be finished, I feel like it will be, but not in November. However, by the end of November, you're going to feel a lot more positive about the direction this is heading in, Taurus. So, um, again, what's your rising sign? That can clarify some things um, for you. But there is a real sense at the end of the month that there's a coming together, particularly in partnerships. Those of you that are single, I mean, even though you may not feel like it, if you've recently gotten out of a relationship, um, some of you, you, your mom may be trying to match make or an older relative. They may tell you about this. Um, you know, if you do see them in, in November, they may be like, Oh, I got this person I want to introduce you to. Um, many of you, this may work out. So if there is a female relative in particular or any family member who is like, Hey, I know this person that I think you get, you know, um, sometimes people get that horribly wrong, but sometimes they get it right. And it really only takes one time of getting it right. So I do feel like if anybody, any of you out there have a relative or a close friend that wants to set you up, Hey, uh, take a chance because for many of you, I think this is going to be a real, uh, a love match. I mean, this really could be something that uh, goes the distance here. Um, a, a serious long-term connection. So uh, that is what I see, Taurus, for November. Good luck with that, and I'll see you back here in December.